Hello everyone. Uh, now we are going to discuss about the theorem. Mm, the chapter is similarity. And the theorem number one, the first theorem of 10 state board. Name is basic proportionality theorem. So as they have given in the theorem statement, if the line parallel to one side of a triangle intersect the remaining two sides in two distinct points, then the line divides the sides in the same proportions. So this theorem is very easy. Try to understand this theorem. See, as they have given a triangle, we have a triangle. So we will go by step by step. As they have given the theorem, if a line parallel to one side of a triangle, so before that we will draw a triangle. Let's say we have a triangle, this one. This is a triangle, name as ABC, let's say. If we have ABC, we can take any name. Instead of ABC, you can write PQR also, XYZ also, no issues. Okay. So, as they have given the statement, if a line parallel to one side of a triangle. So, let's say if I will take BC, so parallel to BC, we can draw a line in this way. If I will take AC, then we can draw a line parallel to AC in this way. And if I will take AB, so we can draw in this way also. So, you can take any one side and you can draw a line which is parallel to that side. So, let's say this is a line that name is what X and Y. X, Y is a line. So according to the statement, if a line parallel to one side of a triangle, so this is a triangle, and in this triangle, side BC, and parallel to side BC is XY. Parallel to side BC is what? XY. That intersect the remaining two sides at two distinct points, X and Y. So these are the two distinct points, X and Y, where that parallel line is what intersecting the remaining two sides. Then after that, what they have given? Then the line divides the sides in the what? Same proportions. So that means what? They have given given, we will write in given, that in triangle ABC, XY is parallel to side, we can write line XY is parallel to side BC. So this is the given thing according to the statement. If we go further, so we can write to prove the last statement of the given thing, that one is what? Then the line divides the sides in the same proportion. Same proportion means what? This is a line. This line will divide with these two sides, AB and AC, in same proportion. That proportion, that means what? AX divided by XB, that is equal to AY divided by YC. So that we have to prove AX divided by XB, that is equal to AY divided by YC. That we have to prove. If we go further, so we will go for the next one. To prove this one, we will use the concept of the triangle. Ratio of the area for two similar uh, two triangles. So if we have a triangle, if I will take a construction, that is if I will join B to Y and X to C. So these are the constructions. Okay, so if I will write as a construction, Join XC and YB. So these are the constructions which we have done. If we go further, see, as we know the area of triangle, if we go further, see, I'm writing area of triangle ABC. Area of triangle ABC. That is nothing but half into base into height. According to the formula, this is the formula that is half into base into height. Similar thing we will apply in this triangle also. This theorem we will complete in three state, uh, three steps. That three steps is what? See, we will go for the proof. This is the proof. And first we will write, we will start the theorem according to the given thing. What we have given, they have given ABC in triangle ABC, XY is parallel to BC. So we will use that and we have done a construction that is what? BY and xc these two things we have joined so we will take first one as a what in triangle in triangle a x y and triangle b x y if i will take these two triangles so from that diagram we will create one more diagram to understand this concept let's say we have taken this one on. from complete diagram we have taken a diagram of this one So this is A, X, 
this one is y and this one is p. Okay. If we will see that diagram, so you will get the idea. We have a two triangle, one is AXY and the second one is VY, VXY. Okay. If we go further, so we have a one perpendicular for both the triangles. So we can take this one as a perpendicular for both the triangles. If I will rotate this diagram in this way, so you will get the idea. For this triangle, area of triangle AXY is nothing but what? That becomes base and this one is a height. Okay, if we go for the, this one, BXY, BXY is obtuse angle triangle. So for this triangle, perpendicular is this one, and base is this one. So we can take as a what? Area of triangle BXY as a half into base. Base is BX and height is what? This one. So if we go for this, so what we can write? We can write area of triangle AXY, area of triangle AXY divided by area of triangle BXY is equal to for area of triangle x y that is half into base base is what ax and if we go further so we can write what this one as a height let's say i'm writing h at this place so we can write h at this place okay for same manner if we go for bxy bxy and this triangle area formula is what half into base base is xb and the height is Again, what? H. So height is same for both the triangles and half and half. These two things will get cancelled. So at the end, what we get? That one is AX divided by XP. We can write this one as an equation mark. So this thing, because of the area formula, area of triangle formula, we have what? AX divided by XB. That is equal to what? Area of triangle AXB divided by BA, BXY. So area ratio of these two triangles we can write in this way. Okay. If we go further, so what we can write? Similarly, similarly, if I will take second triangle and that diagram is this one, see. If I will take this diagram. name is A, X, Y and this one is C. So we can take a triangle and that triangle name is in triangle A, X, Y. The first triangle is same for both these steps. A, X, Y only. And the second one, the second one is triangle. We have written B, X, Y. B, X, Y. So we will take C, Y, X. So now in these two triangles, what we can write? The area of triangle AXY divided by area of triangle CYX that is equal to again we can write half into base so for this triangle if I will draw a perpendicular and that means height of both the triangles so we can say that what this one is a height so we write H so what we get we get AY as a base for AXY AY as a base and the height is what height we get h and then divide by c y x for the triangle c y x again we have bases what y c and the height is h only so we will write half into y c into h so again we can cancel these two things and at the end what we get we get a y divided by y c so this is the second statement we can write this one as what we will write second statement and we write equation 2 okay. okay after that the third step of this theorem what we can take see first we have taken axy with bxy and the second we have taken axy with cyx okay in these two triangles these two combinations we have a ratio one ratio is axy divided by area of triangle BXY that is equal to AX divided by XP. We go for the second condition. So what we have AXY divided by CYX. AXY divided by CYX. In these two triangles, the ratio is AY divided by YC. If you will focus on equation 1 and equation 2, what you will get, the right hand side of the equation 1 and 2 is exactly the same thing which I need to prove. We can write these two things are equal. But for that, we need what these two statements are what equal. 
if we go for this one, this ratio is equal to this one. If I will get this ratio, this ratio, area ratio, with this area ratio equal, then simply we can write what these two things are not equal. But if you will focus on these two ratios, the upside of the area triangle, that is area of triangle AXY and the area of triangle AXY, both are the same thing. But when you will go for the denominator, denominator part, that triangle is what different. That triangle is different and that one is what BXY and CYX. So BXY and CYX, to make these two things are equal, we will take the third step and that third, third step for that we will draw a diagram and that diagram become what this one, see. We can make a diagram and this is the diagram for the third step. Try to understand. Okay. And this one is representing X, Y, B, and C. If you can understand, try to understand this X, Y is parallel to BC and take it as an imaginary line. Let's say this is a line and these two lines are parallel. Try to understand. These two lines are parallel. That X, Y, and BC, both are the parallel lines. In between these two lines, we have two triangles. One is BXY and the second is CYX. If we go for the area of triangle, we will write next step in triangle ABXY for the third step. In triangle BXY and triangle CYX. In these two triangles. If I want a perpendicular, see, for both the triangle, x, y is a side which is common for both the triangles. So if I will rotate this one in this way, so what we get, we get a triangle like this. So we can say that this one is a common base for both the triangles. Okay, this vertex point is actually a parallel line can reach me, right? In between the parallel lines. So we can say that this one is a what? A perpendicular for both. But the length. So this become what the height of both the triangles. So height is also equal and base is also equal, right? So we can say that for these two triangles, see what I'm writing. Let's say this is the height. I'm making height at this place. Okay, this is the height and this one is a base. So very simple, we will write area of triangle, area of triangle B X Y divide by area of triangle CYX that is equal to half into base for both the things base is XY and the height is H for the denominator again we will write half into base for this triangle again base is what XY only CYX CYX base is XY and the height is H so what we get see all the things what will get cancelled and at the end we get equal to 1. So simply if I will transfer this area to that side. So what we get? The area of triangle BXY that is equal to area of triangle CYX. And this is what these two things are equal. We will write equation number 3 to this. Okay. If we go for equation 1, equation 2 and equation 3. If we go for equation 1, equation 2 and equation 3. These are the things which we have written because of the triangle formula. The area of triangle we can write at this place. Area of triangle. As a reason we can write at this place. Okay. Okay. Now these two things are equal. If I will take equation 1, equation 2 and equation 3. All three equations. From equation 1, 2 and 3 we can see that. See, if I will replace BXY by CYX. So in place of BXY, if I will write CYX. So what we get? AXY divided by AXY divided by CYX and that is equal to what AXY divided by CYX means what right hand side of equation 1 and 2 become equal because of equation 3. So simply we can write from equation 1, 2, and 3, from 1, 2, and 3. From these three equations, very simple, we can write AX divided by XP that is equal to AY divide by yc and this is what this is a what required thing so we will write hence proof 